Do you believe medieval people only live to be 30 years old? Think again, and those all-black ninjas sneaking around in the night? Pure Hollywood fiction. In reality, ninjas wore civilian clothes to blend in. Surprised? These are just a couple of the cringy historical facts that many Americans still believe. So, let's take a look at a few and debunk them. Let's kick things off with ninjas. The way we commonly imagine ninjas, in their all-black hooded outfits, is almost completely inaccurate. There was no such thing as a ninja uniform. Ninjas typically wore civilian clothing to blend in with everyone else. Think about it. Walking around in an all-black outfit with a sword on your back would draw a lot of attention, even at night. Instead, during nighttime operations, ninjas wore navy blue because it hid bloodstains better and blended into the night sky more effectively. Their goal was to hide in plain sight, making the stereotypical image of a ninja quite laughable. Next, we've got the real story of the Salem Witch Trials. Let's clear up the Salem Witch Trials. Contrary to what many believe, nobody was burned at the stake. Instead, 15 people died in prison, 19 were hanged, and one man, Giles Corey, was pressed to death with heavy stones. Corey was 81 years old and refused to plead guilty or innocent. For three days, he endured torture only saying more weight each time they tried to get a confession out of him. He never admitted to being a witch, making his story even more intense than any burning. Then there's the myth of George Washington and the cherry tree. Now, let's talk about George Washington. You've probably heard the story of young George Washington chopping down a cherry tree and admitting it by saying, I cannot tell a lie. This story was made up by an early biographer to show Washington's honesty. In reality, there's no evidence this event ever happened. It's just a piece of patriotic folklore passed down through generations. What about life expectancy in medieval times? A lot of people think that in the Middle Ages, most people only lived to be around 30 years old. While the average life expectancy was lower than today, this is mostly because many children didn't survive infancy. If you made it through childhood, you could often live into your 60s. For instance, a healthy 21-year-old man in medieval times could expect to live to about 64. So, the idea that everyone was dying in their 30s or 40s is quite exaggerated, and not many people know the truth about Buddha. Have you seen those chubby, smiling Buddha statues and thought they represented the original Buddha? That's another misconception. The round figure is actually Budai, a Chinese folk character representing Maitreya, the future Buddha. The historical Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama, was a slender man who lived a life of moderation. Also, Buddha wasn't a god. He was a man who attained enlightenment and shared his teachings. What about the Roman vomitoriums? You might have heard that Romans had special rooms called vomitoriums, where they would vomit during feasts to make room for more food. But that's not true at all. A vomitorium was actually a large entranceway in amphitheaters like the Colosseum, where crowds would spill out into the streets. It had nothing to do with vomiting. Now, let's talk about ancient Egypt. Many people think the pyramids were built by slaves, but evidence shows that the workers were actually well-respected laborers who were paid for their work. They ate well, worked in three-month shifts, and were even buried in tombs near the pyramids. These were skilled workers, not slaves, which is very different from what most people believe. And then there are some crazy beliefs too that many people have passed around over the years. Then there's the penny drop myth. Remember being told that a penny dropped from the Empire State Building could kill someone? That's completely false. While a penny can reach terminal velocity, it's not enough to cause serious harm. The weight and shape of a penny mean it would only reach speeds of 30 to 100 miles per hour, and it lacks the mass to inflict lethal damage. It might sting a bit, but it certainly won't kill anyone. And this next one is lesser known. Benjamin Franklin didn't actually discover electricity. Yes, he did the famous kite experiment to show that lightning is electrical, but people knew about electricity long before Franklin. The ancient Egyptians and Greeks had some knowledge of it. The first detailed studies were done by William Gilbert in the 1600s, and he even coined the term electricity. Franklin made important contributions, but he wasn't the first to discover it. Here's a more modern myth. Adolf Hitler didn't create the Autobahn. The highway system was already there before he came to power. Hitler expanded it, but he didn't start it. Similarly, Mussolini didn't make Italy's trains run on time. Most of the improvements happened before he took control, and the trains weren't as punctual as he claimed. There are some crazy beliefs that people have about medieval times. Like this next one. Iron Maidens, those scary medieval torture devices, were never actually used in medieval times. They were invented in the 19th century. People in the Victorian era loved creating creepy and sensational stories about the past, and the Iron Maiden was one of those inventions. They combined old metal coffins and spikes to make this gruesome device, but it has no real historical basis in medieval torture. Then there's the truth behind the painted statues of ancient Greece and Rome. 
When we think of ancient Greek and Roman statues, we picture them as white marble figures. But in reality, these statues were originally painted in bright colors. Over time, the paint has worn away, leaving us with the white statues we see today. Some well-preserved statues still have traces of their original colors, but it's rare. Now, Helen Keller is often remembered solely for her incredible accomplishments despite her disabilities. But did you know she was also a passionate advocate for socialism and workers' rights? She wrote extensively about social justice issues and campaigned for a more equitable society. This aspect of her life is often overlooked, but it was central to her public work and advocacy. Speaking of overlooked aspects, let's talk about medieval chastity belts. Contrary to popular belief, chastity belts were not invented in medieval times to prevent women from having sex. Most of the chastity belts that have been found are either fakes or were created in the 19th century as anti-masturbation devices. Back then, some people believed that masturbation could lead to insanity. Dr. John Harvey Kellogg, the inventor of cornflakes, was a strong advocate for abstinence and thought masturbation was more harmful than diseases like the plague. Let's clear up a common myth about Albert Einstein. Many people think he failed math in school, but this isn't true. By the age of 15, Einstein had already mastered calculus. This myth was probably started to give hope to struggling students, suggesting that even geniuses face setbacks. In reality, Einstein was exceptionally talented in math from a young age. Now, have you seen the painting American Gothic by Grant Wood? Most people assume it shows a husband and wife, but it actually depicts a father and daughter. The models for the painting were Wood's sister, and their family dentist. The iconic pitchfork and stern expressions have led to much speculation, but the true story is much simpler and far less romantic than most people think. Let's debunk the myth that the Great Wall of China is the only man-made object visible from space. In reality, the wall is not visible to the naked eye from space because it's too narrow and too far away. Other man-made structures, like roads and cities, are much more noticeable. Astronauts have confirmed that without special equipment, the Great Wall is indistinguishable from space. One of the most enduring myths in history is that Napoleon Bonaparte was a short man. In reality, Napoleon was around 5 foot 6 or 5 foot 7, which was actually average height for a Frenchman of his time. The confusion comes from a difference in measuring systems. French inches were longer than British inches, so when his height was recorded, it seemed shorter to British observers. The myth of Napoleon's short stature was also perpetuated by his enemies to make him seem less intimidating. And there you have it. These are some of the cringiest historical facts that many Americans still believe. How many of these did you know? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on the next video for more crazy truths from history.